Hey Wildcats, welcome to the first episode of my brand new show, Steamboat. This is this show is going to be a little bit different. We are going to be highlighting not very well-known games, indie games, specifically on Steam, but I will also tell you if they're also on console. So let's just jump into our first game. And what better game to start off the pilot than Barrow Trauma? Now, Barrow Trauma holds a special place in my heart. I have played this game so much with friends, and it's just an overall fun time. Barrel Trauma is a survival horror submarine simulator that takes place on the moon of Europa. Now, Europa, you know, it's theorized to have an ocean underneath, underneath the thick uh, ice layer, the thick irradiated ice layer of Barrel Trauma. Now, you can't live on top of the ice, so why not under the ice? That's what Barrel Trauma tries to dig real deep into. You play as either a crew member of a submarine or a captain of a submarine, and you take on these different tasks that somebody in the submarining business would do. You either go out and destroy these nests of horrible space monsters, and I'll get into the space monsters real quick, or you can collect resources or go explore an ancient civilization submarine base. Now. The thing about Barotrauma, as I said before, the monsters. Europa is not uninhabited. Humans came, but we weren't the first, and we're definitely not the dominant species. It is a very hard to survive environment. There are very few civilizations, and you as the submarine crew member or captain, you have to deal with the horrible sea monsters that Europa has to offer. The sea monsters come in small sizes, you know, ones that just bite onto your ship, ones that shoot spines into your ship. It goes all the way up to some of the biggest sea monsters I think I've ever experienced in no game. Almost twice the size of your sub, just slamming into it. You don't know what's going on because all you can see in the captain's chair is a little son is the sonar. You can't see outside of your sub at all. All you get are the little blips in the sonar. You just see this big dot coming to you, and then all of a sudden the whole submarine shakes, you fall over, and it's just an overall crazy experience. Bear Trauma was released June 5th, 2019. It currently has a very positive review score on Steam with 92% positive reviews. It is early access, which makes the $30 price tag a little bit pricey, but I think it's overall worth it once you get the hang of the game. Sadly, Barrel Trauma is only available on Steam, so if you're a console player, which I know most people are, you won't be able to play this, but it's not that hard to run on a computer, so even if your computer is really bad, your grandma's old virus-infested computer, it still would run perfectly fine. Now let's go into my personal review. Now, it needs to be broken down into three different categories. I'm going to be giving these categories out of five in visual style, gameplay, and overall fun factor. Now, Barrel Trauma's visual style, of course, it's a survival horror game, so it's very dark. It's very, like, I wouldn't say realistic, but it, it definitely gives, like, a we're all gonna die vibe, if you know what that means. I give Barrel Trauma's visual style a 3 out of 5. Now, the gameplay factor, it's, whenever you get into the game, it's a little bit complicated, and even whenever you're playing single player, it can kind of start to get overwhelming, once you get the hang of how the electronics work, how captaining works, how to pump water out of your ship if it's coming in through a leak, I think it really makes for a fun and satisfying experience whenever you finally, if your sub is getting attacked, how you can hold them off, fix all the leaks, pump all the water out of it, and get out of there. I give Barrel Trauma's overall gameplay a 4 out of 5. Now, fun factor. Now, even though Barrel Trauma has a single-player campaign, Multiplayer is where it really shines. Whenever you're playing single player, you play as the captain of the ship, obviously. And you have these AI that you can command what to do. But whenever it gets multiplayer and all those AI are real people and they know what they're doing, it just makes for a really satisfying experience being able to communicate with your submarine team and just do whatever you are tasked to do. One of my favorite missions, I think, is transporting very volatile cargo where... Of course, they're going to send you through a winding path full of enemies, but if that cargo touches water, or if the ship shakes too hard, then that cargo explodes, and it's just very nerve-wracking trying 
not to bump into anything dangerous or trying to keep water below that level. It's just overall great. I give Barrel Trauma Fun Factor a four out of five. Thank you guys so much for watching my first episode of Steamboat. That will be it for the review for Barrel Trauma. I hope you guys go out and play that game if you get a chance. I think it's really fun. And if you guys have any indie games that you like that aren't very well known that you think deserves a little bit more attention, make sure you put it in the comment section and we'll try to get to it as soon as possible. Join us next week on Steamboat where we are going to be reviewing the awesome game that I already talked a little bit about before, Deep Rock Galactic. I'm Dallas and I'm sailing on out of here.